Authorized. Hey folks, Ryan from iMobile Rescue here. What you're looking at is an iPhone 5S in the middle of a screen repair. The interesting thing about this device, as well as the 5C and the iPhone 5, is that you have to replace and or really transfer the the camera and the proximity sensor, the front-facing camera proximity sensor and speaker over to the new device. So what we're doing here is we're doing that, but in order for the prongs uh, it's really just two gold looking electrodes to be in place that hit prongs on the speaker for the speaker functionality to work. We have to make sure that part of this cable is placed in the right direction. What you see here is our senior technician Rob Williams putting a piece of adhesive uh, on that on that area where that that cable needs to sit, peeling the adhesive and then uh, making sure that it sticks down there. So he's just going to sort of situate this stuff together. Those, those, see those, all those prongs right there. They need to be touched. Uh, those copper prong, those, those copper kind of electrode-looking things need to be touched uh, by the top of the uh, the speaker, which we're going to kind of uh, be working on putting in here right now. And that's the speaker, and so that's it. So on the other side of that speaker are two. Uh, they're they're basically like these uh, spring-like. Uh, prongs that that need to touch the other end for that speaker functionality to work. Interestingly, if you don't if you don't adhere that that cable in there correctly, and the, those prongs don't hit the the copper the copper connectors on the other side, the speaker won't work. And we've seen that happen before, and so it's something to pay attention to. So Rob's just putting on the uh, the cover to the speaker now, um, just sort of situating it in place. The interesting thing to also keep in mind is that we also have to kind of work on aligning the camera, the front-facing camera at this point. If you do a screen replacement on an iPhone 5S and you see that the front-facing camera is not aligned, that's because this sort of situation that he's working on right now went wrong. you got to kind of pay attention to that because directly underneath all this assembly here is that front-facing camera. And uh, you, you have to kind of make sure uh, that uh, if you turn the device around and look at it, that the uh, that the camera is, is actually aligned. So uh, so Rob's just sort of clipping in a couple things here. There's that small clip on the right-hand side that you see there that, that clips the top of the speaker hold in to make sure that it's all, it's all secured. There are um, subsequently some screws that have to go in. There's the top one. That one's a little tricky, and uh, Rob did a cool little spinny technique right there to, to uh, uh, avoid the, the magnet situation that tries to push the screw away from you when you try to screw it in. When he made it happen, and here we go in, in looking at the front-facing camera. So that that I'm not quite sure if that is 100% aligned. I think we're going to do a little uh, shimming to get that camera aligned. But but the the quick glance at that camera is what we really want to be paying attention to. You don't want to give the, your customer and or yourself an iPhone 5S that's camera is a little funky. I'm going to make sure that's straight. So what Rob's doing is just taking a, a flathead screwdriver, small flathead screwdriver, and just kind of just kind of giving the camera a little bit of a push to the right uh, right there, we're zooming in, just a little push to the right so we can make sure that thing's aligned and he's swapping it around and, and checking to make sure that it's aligned and at the point that it it becomes fully aligned, which I think he's sort of satisfied with it now, then, then he'll go in and tighten the rest of that screw so that we can make sure it's all secure in there. So that's what we're doing there, just tightening the screw. We should be good to go.